What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Kangaroo Black coming back once again to talk some SEC football and to talk about what I think is the most intriguing games for the SEC heading into 2023. I went from week to week, week one to week 13, and picked what I think is must watch football for us SEC fans. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Week one, August the 31st, Florida at Utah. Florida beat Utah last season, 29 to 26. Florida pulled out that win as terrible as they looked last season because Florida on the Billy Napier in season one was not a good team. And they surprised me last season, game one, when they beat Utah. I thought Utah coming into that game was the much better team. All right. But hey, Florida managed to pull it out. But the season went downhill from there. So, hey, maybe Florida will be a little bit better. They did address some uh, issues via the transfer portal. But I don't think they I don't think they're going to beat Utah this year. Well, I didn't think they was going to do it last year, but they did it. They surprised me. And if they beat them, beat Utah this year, they'll surprise me again. So, hey, we'll just see how this roll out. Um, this this is a Thursday night game, basically the first game for the SEC, besides week zero with Vandy and who wants to watch Vandy. But anyway, but uh, I think this is going to be an exciting Thursday night game to kick the SEC football season off. All right. Another game in week one, September the 3rd, a Sunday night game, LSU at Florida State. LSU, they bringing back a lot. They bringing back Jaden Daniels. They bringing back Harold Perkins, uh, uh, Malik Neighbors. Uh, they bringing back a lot. All right. Plus, they, are, they also address some needs in the transfer portal. Okay. LSU, they should have won this game last year. They had a lot of mistakes. And matter of fact, Florida State won this game off a last-second field goal, and LSU uh, committed a penalty to put them in the field goal range. Too many mistakes, LSU. Um, Florida State, they had a great season last year. They went 10-3. and three. A daggone season they hadn't seen in a long time. All right, LSU, uh, on the first-year head coach, Brian Kelly, went 9-3, and three, which I didn't think they would do. They beat Alabama. They won the West. So LSU had a pretty good season also. And both these teams got a lot of hype surrounding them coming into this season. Uh, uh, ACC fans think that, you know, Florida State can win the, win the ACC. Uh, some SEC fans, most of LSU fans, think LSU can beat Alabama again and win the West. I doubt it. But, hey, anything is possible, I guess. But, uh these two games for week one, they are the most exciting games to me, in my opinion, okay? Week two, you got Texas A&M at Miami, all right? Week two, September 9th, Texas A&M at Miami. A&M won this game last year, 17-9, close game. Both teams, both teams was terrible last season. Somebody had to win, but these was two terrible teams, Texas A&M, Wind up going five and seven. And I don't think Miami was much more. I think Miami was worse, in my opinion. So, <laughs> but I think the game, it'll be a good game. It'll be something to watch this year. I mean, it's early in the season for Texas a and I, I do think Texas a and going to win this game. And I think Texas A&M is going to be a, a whole lot better than what they was last season. All right. Another game in week two is... uh. Texas at my Alabama Crimson Tide. All right. I have full faith in my Alabama Crimson Tide that we're going to win this game big. But guess what? Texas is coming in with a lot of motivation. Texas, they got a hell of an offense. The offense can be explosive. As far as the passing game, what would their running game be? We don't know. All right. Because I like, I can continue to say they lost. They're number one and two running backs to the draft. What would their defense be like? They need to work on that from last season. I can tell you that right now. So, but that's the two games I got for week two. All right, week two, Texas A&M at Miami and Texas at Alabama. 
All right, moving to week three, September the 16th, South Carolina at Georgia. <laughs> oh, man, Georgia beat the brakes off South Carolina uh, in the cockpit last year, 48 to 7. Now they got to go to Athens. Oh, it might be ugly. It might be ugly. But guess what? South Carolina's Spencer Rattler to end the season last year, they was playing some pretty good damn football. That's why I'm excited to see this game. All right. I think South Carolina is going to put up a better showing than they did last season, even though this year it's in Athens. So uh, I don't think South Carolina will win the game, but I think it'll be a better game than it was last season. All right. Another game in uh, week three is Tennessee at Florida. Tennessee, I just want you to know this, Tennessee fans, all right? Just like y'all say, Alabama could have easily won, I mean, lost four games last season. Y'all could have easily lost four games last season. Because yeah, you remember you lost against South Carolina and Georgia, all right? You could have lost against Pitt because you beat them by seven points in overtime. That game could have went either way. It was close, all right? You also could have lost against Florida last year. You only beat them by 5, 38, 33. So you could have easily lost four games, Tennessee, just like my Alabama Crimson Tide. I don't want to leave that out. So don't forget that. But Tennessee, they are motivated this season, all right? They had their first double-digit uh, season in wins last season, all right, in over 20 years. First double-digit win season in over 20 years. So they excited coming into this season. All right, even though they lost Hen and Hooker and, and, and Cedric Tillman and Jalen Hunt, they, they still excited. These fans are excited. Uh, you know, I know Josh Heupel is excited to see what his team going to do this season. But in my opinion, I think Tennessee going to take a step back. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. All right, but they got to go against Florida. They got to go in the swamp. They ain't won in the swamp since two, uh, 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 2000, I mean, uh, 2023. I mean, 20, 2003. Yeah. They ain't won in the swamp since 2003. Mm, 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 mm. So it might be tough sledding for Tennessee. This game, this game, I think it's going to be everything that we expect it to be. And I think it's going to be close. I think Tennessee going to get their first win in the swamp in 20 years. I do think that, but I think it's going to be close. All right, don't lose, Tennessee. I'm counting on you. All right, week four, head into week four. September the 23rd, I got Ole Miss at Alabama. Former Alabama offensive coordinator Lane Kiffin, former Alabama coordinator, I mean defensive coordinator Pete Golden is trying to take down the GOAT. It'll be Lane Kiffin. If he do it, it'll be his first time, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's Ole Miss at Alabama. And Ole Miss, you know, I know they came in, to, to Bryant Denny Stadium, I believe it was 2014. Maybe it was 2015. They pulled out the win. But it won't happen. Not in 2023. You can believe that. I don't have no faith in Pete Golden defense until they face the Georgia Bulldogs in Athens. That's when I have faith in Pete Golden. Not until then. All right? So, but anyway, Ole Miss coming into Bryant Denny. They're going to get their book whooped. But this is must-watch TV, at least for us Alabama fans. Because guess what? Nick Saban is taking on two former coordinators of his. All right? <clears throat> then, also, week four, you got Auburn at Texas A&M. Both of these teams finished 5-7 and seven last year. Oh, that was terrible. Neither one of them made a bowl, bowl game. Auburn, they won this game 13-10 to last year. Both teams were terrible, like I said. Auburn, they did go get them a, 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 a transfer quarterback out the portal. Uh, he, he seemed to be pretty damn good, all right? They still got Jaquez on it, but they don't have Tank Big. Auburn, they're going to have to show up that defense too. But, hey, Auburn, <laughs> I don't expect you to win. I don't. I think Texas A&M is going to be a better team this year, all right? They, they got players. Texas A&M got some players. Plus, it's time for these guys in that in that number one recruiting class that they got to show up. It's time to put them on the field. All right? I know some of them transferred, but it's time to put those guys on the field and let them do what they do. All right? You got your offensive coordinator, Jimbo Fisher. So, 
I think y'all going to be all right. I think the defense is going to be better also. I think Texas A&M is going to be a better all-around team, and I got them beating Auburn. So that's my games for week four. Week five, LSU at Ole Miss. All right? LSU at Ole Miss. If Lane Kiffin can pull this, this game off, he might have himself something. All right, but I don't think he can because I don't think Pete Golden, that defense, his defense can stop Jaden Daniels. If you remember <laughs> against Alabama, he wouldn't spy for no for knowing this man is a running quarterback. And he still wouldn't put a spy on him. That is freaking crazy. Who does that besides Pete Golden? All right. And guess what Jaden Daniels did? Ran it in for a damn touchdown. Yes, he did. On the first play of on their first possession of overtime. I only took one play. But it's all good. That's neither here nor there. But anyway, LSU going to beat the hell out of Ole Miss. Then, uh, still in week five, we got South Carolina at Tennessee. I got to watch this game because I think Tennessee is going to have revenge on their mind. Because I know Tennessee fans has not forgotten what happened to them last year. South Carolina, Spencer Rattler put up 63 points on them. All right? So, I Spencer Rattler in no the game call, got to go in the Neyland Stadium. And I'm damn sure sure Tennessee, uh, uh, Josh Hyper, going to try to put up them same 63 points on damn South Carolina. So, that's a must, must watch game. And that's real. All right, that was week five, week six, only one game. Alabama at Texas A&M. We already know Texas A&M going to be up for this game, just like they do every game. They beat us in 2021 in Neyland Stadium. On the last second field goal, once again, Alabama seemed to be losing a lot of games on field goals, man. But they, they lost to uh, Texas A&M in 2021 on the field goal, and we beat them in Bryant Denny Stadium last year. It came down to the last play of the game. So, telling you, man, this is must-watch TV on uh, uh, October the 7th. Must-watch TV. I'm telling you now. So, y'all be in tune. That's the only, I mean, that was week six. That was week six. That's the only game I got in week six. For week seven, I got Florida at South Carolina. All right? Florida beat South Carolina last year. 38 to 6. Jesus. Damn, damn, South Carolina. You, you, you know you should have won that damn game. But anyway, uh, I don't know how they did it, but they, they beat old Beamer ball. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I think this is going to be a good game. I will be watching. It's not a rivalry game, but I think it's going to be a good game. Hell, it's two SEC teams. So I think that's going to be a good game for week seven. Also, for week seven, I got Texas AM. At Tennessee, and I think Texas A&M is going to give Tennessee a hell of a game in, in Neyland, Neyland Stadium. I really do. I, I, I can't tell you who's going to win this game. I know I got picked Tennessee to go like 10-2, 9-3 or some bullshit like that. But I think Texas A&M is going to give them a hell of a game. I really do. Matter of fact, I picked them to lose Tennessee to lose against Georgia and uh, uh, Alabama. But I did say... Look out for this Texas A&M game. And I think Texas A&M, like I say, going to give Tennessee a hell of a ball game. You can believe that. I know uh, uh, Tennessee don't get to play Texas A&M every year, but you about to find out, uh, Tennessee, them boys, they play ball, all right? So, anyway, going on to week eight, October 21st, Tennessee at Alabama, baby. That could possibly be back-to-back -back losses for you, Tennessee, Texas A&M, and then you come to Alabama because I'm going to tell you now, I know you get a bye week. I think you get a bye week after you play Texas A&M, but your ass going to come in there uh, beat up because Texas A&M going to beat up on you. Then you got to come to Bryant Denny Stadium, and we just going to finish you off. All right, Tennessee? So, but that's a must-watch game. Like I say, there's a lot, lot of doubt about Alabama, and there's a lot of hype surrounding Tennessee. But guess what? By the time we get to this game, all that shit going to be done with. All that I, for Tennessee and all the doubting for Alabama, that's going to be done with. Alabama going to beat their head by double digits too. 
No doubt about it. All right, keep it moving. Uh, week nine, South Carolina at Texas A&M. All right, South Carolina won this game last season 30 to 24. All right, I mean, you, you lose to a sorry Florida team. Well, Texas A&M was sorry too, so hey, I didn't know when to even even putting that in there. But anyway, South Carolina and Texas A&M, I think this will be a good game. Uh, like I say, Texas A&M going to be better than what they was last year. Plain and damn simple. I also got for uh, week nine, Georgia at Florida. Georgia won this game 42-20 last season. <laughs> I don't think – I think this will be a decent game to watch, but I don't think Florida going to be able to pull it off. I mean, it's a SEC East matchup. So, you know, I had to put it on there, but uh, two big – Big name schools, but Florida, you're going to have a lot of work to do, all right? And uh, I understand that Georgia going into the swamp, but Georgia ain't had no problem in the swamp in a while. So how will it turn out? I don't know, but I, th I think I think this will be a good game to watch. It's, it's must-see football. I'll put it that way. All right, week 10, November 14th, LSU at Alabama, baby. Another must-watch game. This is more like a rivalry game, somewhat of a rivalry game, because guess what? In recent history, you know, we done put up LSU and Alabama to play some good damn games, all right? Even though Alabama done won a majority of them, they done played some good games, all right? But this season, 2023, I know what LSU is bringing to the table, but I also know what my Alabama Crimson Tide is bringing to the table other than the quarterback position right now, but we'll know who separate themselves way before we get to LSU and Alabama. All right, first week of November. Like I say, November the 4th, all right? Alabama going to win this game, I have no doubt. LSU, I talked about all they, they bringing back. Well, they had all that last season and only got a one-point win in overtime, and it was our damn fault. So I'm looking for Alabama, November the 4th, to manhandle LSU. And Brian Kelly can shut up talking about he liked beating Alabama like he did it several times. What's wrong with it? All right, keep it moving. Week 11, November the 11th, Ole Miss versus Georgia. I pick Ole Miss to beat Georgia, and this is the week I'm going to have faith in Pete Golden. All right, and I already told you why, because Georgia's offense – has not scored over 26 points on Pete Golden's defense. And I understand that Ole Miss don't have the daggone athletes that Alabama do, but I'm still having faith in that Pete Golden defense to, to, to you know, mitigate, I'm just say attempt to mitigate the daggone uh, Georgia offense, all right? By this time, we're going to know what Carson Beck is, all right? Everybody expecting Carson Beck to be the starter, so we're going to know if he, by this time, if he's the starter or if he's been the starter and got benched or whatever the case may be, or he might just be great. All right, we'll know then. And and by this week time we get to this game, I'll be like, ain't no way in hell Oh, Miss finna beat Georgia. Change my mind, George Bulldogs. Change my mind. I'm depending on you. But for right now, I'm going with Ole Miss. All right, that's week 11. Week 12. Ooh. Georgia at Tennessee. November 18th, Georgia at Tennessee. <laughs> Georgia Bulldog got the Golden Neyland Stadium, you know. Last season, Georgia beat them, you know. Second half, it was raining. Tennessee fans said, if it wasn't raining, they had to beat the hell out of Georgia. Then they said, hey, it was problems in the locker room. Blame it on the power T. No, it was just Georgia whoop your ass. That's all it was, Tennessee fans. No excuses. Now, when Georgia come into Neyland Stadium, and if they pull it out and they beat you in Neyland Stadium, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. But if you beat Georgia in Neyland Stadium, oh, my goodness. Boy, if y'all beat Georgia in Neyland Stadium, hell, y'all going to have to get some, make another damn GoFundMe to get, get, get some damn gold pole. And your school going to be paying another damn fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Because I already know. If y'all beat Georgia, it, it, neither of the standards are going to be rocking. 
And Georgia Bulldog fans, y'all are going to have to endure what us Alabama done endured the past year. You can believe that. So, yeah, must watch TV. All right. Week 13, rivalry week, November 25th. Alabama versus Auburn. You know, intriguing game, intriguing game. You know, Auburn always get up to play Alabama, no matter how bad they is. You remember 2021, we barely pulled it out, and Auburn was terrible. That was Brown, that was Brian Harson. But hey, we pulled it out. It's always good. The Iron Bowl is always a must-watch game. You know, it's always, always, to me, it's the best rivalry in college football. I know people got Michigan and Ohio State as the best rivalry, but for me, it's Alabama and Auburn. All right, also, Texas A&M and LSU. A&M pulled this game out last year, 38-23. LSU, you beat Alabama, but go lose to A&M to give, give them the fifth win. How you do that? But anyway, maybe you was... Thinking about the not the SEC championship game of going to go up against Georgia the next week. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, 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 anyway, you lost two in a row. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, Texas A&M and LSU, all right? <sighs> Robert, remember, remember, I think it was a few years back, probably about three or four years back, these two games, these two teams went into seven overtimes. Uh, A&M wind up uh, pulling it out. I think they pulled it out 74 to 72, I believe. Seven overtime. And I believe that was in like 18, 2018 or 2017, some shit like that. But uh, they be playing some tough games too now. So, hey, this is a good rivalry too. Then we got uh, for the uh, Clemson at South Carolina. All right, Texas A&M at LSU, Alabama at Auburn. And, and fucking Jordan Harry, his strange shit happened there. But uh, Clemson got to come to the cockpit, South Carolina. So uh, South Carolina beat Clemson last year, 31 to 30. Okay, who expected that? Can they do it again in the cockpit? That remains to be seen. I ain't going to pick no winner right now, but uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be tough. If Spencer Rattler. You know, if he can do what he he we know he can do, I think South Carolina can pull it out. Uh, Cave Club, you know that's Clemson, Clemson to name him the starter. Well, they did that last season, but we'll see though. But those are my most intriguing games and must watch t TV for LSU. I mean, for for the SEC. What the hell I'm talking about LSU? But for the SEC, like I say, Week One, Florida at Utah, LSU. At, I mean, yo, LSU at Florida State. That's week one. Week two, Texas A&M at Miami. Texas at Alabama. Week three, South Carolina at Georgia. Tennessee at Florida. Week four, Ole Miss at Alabama. Auburn at Texas A&M. Week five, LSU at Ole Miss. South Carolina at Tennessee. Week six, Alabama at Texas A&M. Week seven, Florida at South Carolina. Texas A&M at Tennessee. Week 8, Tennessee at Alabama. Week 9, South Carolina at Texas A&M. Georgia at Florida. Week 10, LSU at Alabama. Week 11, Ole Miss at Georgia. Week 12, Georgia at Tennessee. And week 13, Wilder Week, Alabama at Auburn. Texas A&M at LSU. Clemson at South Carolina. Those are my must-watch games for the SEC in 2023. Talk about it. Roll damn tide.